Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about difference between Bitcoin, blockchain and DLT. In fact, yes, there's a, there's a huge confusion between Bitcoin and blockchain. Some people used to refer Bitcoin as blockchain and blockchain as Bitcoin, but they're different, right? In fact, there are so many videos available on this topic. But then the moment you talk about DLT, which is distributed ledger technology, people are getting confused between blockchain and DLT. Some people say they are both are same. And so there's a, there's a huge confusion on this part as well. So in this video, let's try to solve this mystery of difference between these three technologies. So we have Bitcoin, we have blockchain, and we have DLT. Let's start with the second word, which is ledger. Now, if you go back to 1960s, at that time, if you, if you want to do any transaction, if you want to buy something, let's say if you have a shop and then you do some transaction, you buy products from, uh, from the dealer and then you sell it to the customers, you maintain everything on a book, right? So basically you write all the details there. Uh, not just shopkeeper, everyone, in fact, a small office, a big office, they used to maintain everything on a book and they used to call that as, as ledger. Now the problem is, every time you do a transaction, let's say if you talk about a bank, every time you withdraw money, every time you, uh, you know, invest your money, it goes into a book. So they have a central book there. And that's why it was recommended for everyone before that you stick to your home branch. So if you have an account in one bank, in one, uh, in one branch, stick to that branch. You can't just go to another branch and withdraw money because that branch was not having your data. And that was the issue, right? They used to have a central copy in one branch. But what if uh, you want to have access to multiple branches? I mean, not just this use case, there are multiple use cases where you wanted your data everywhere. So that's one thing. The second one is if you have your data in the central point, so basically you have multiple nodes, let's say multiple computers or multiple people, if they want to share data, they used to create a central repository, a central server basically. And then they used to access data from this server. But the problem is it's a single point of failure, right? What if the server goes down? What if there's a virus attack there? Uh, so you will lose all your, all your data and anyone can change the data from the central server, right? So that was the issue. And that's why they wanted to go for a distributed ledger where everyone will have its own copy. So let's say if you have four nodes in the network or if you have four branches for a particular bank, every bank will have a record of all, all the customers of all the branches. So the advantage is if I invest a money today in let's say one branch, I can maybe after three to three, four days, if I go to a second branch, uh, they will have my data because they are sharing data, right? They are continuously sharing data. Maybe every day end, uh, they are sharing data with each other. So that's what is distributed ledger means. But then of course, if you do that on, on the internet, if you do that with the help of computers, we call this technology. So that's your distributed ledger technology. I mean, of course, this can be a simple text file, this can be a Excel, or this can be a database, maybe RDBMS, MySQL, Oracle, right? Uh, so if you share your database or your ledger on the network, and if everyone, if every node has its own copy, we will call them as DLT. And of course, you can have permissions here. Maybe not all the nodes in the network will have all the permissions. So we can set those things as well. But that's the part of DLT where you can share your ledger between all the nodes. But then if you come back to blockchain now, so blockchain is a type of DLT. So yes, blockchain is DLT because in blockchain as well, you share your data or you have ledgers and you share your ledger with all the nodes, right? So yes, blockchain is DLT. But not all DLTs are blockchain, right? Because as blockchain is one of the type of DLT, there might be some other types as well. Now in blockchain, what is different from DLT is in blockchain, we create blocks and all these blocks are chained. There's no compulsion in other DLT technology to have the same concept. Maybe I can create my own Excel file, but I don't create blocks, but I don't uh, create a chain of it. So yes, it is still a DLT if I'm using it in that way, but that's not, no, that's not a blockchain, right? Uh, then if you go specifically, so blockchain is a technology where it's a DLT, of course, you, you can have multiple nodes and every node will have its own ledger. And of course, in this block, you store transactions. One of the best example of blockchain technology or the application of blockchain technology is Bitcoin. Uh, so Bitcoin works on blockchain and blockchain is a type of DLT. So now you can make a relation, right? So we have a big concept, which is DLT. And if you go specifically that you want to work with blocks, if you want to have a chain of blocks following some consensus algorithm, uh, following a concept of immutability, then you can call it as a blockchain. And one of the application of blockchain is Bitcoin, which is a cryptocurrency. 
of course why uh, we can also talk about why bitcoin came into picture and then why it uses blockchain is a different topic but the main concept is we have a big concept which is dlt distributed ledger technology which means if you can create a network and every node in the network will have the same data distributed data right they, everyone have have its own data but if you store that data in a format of blocks and if you follow a chain and then if you also follow a concept of consensus if you follow all these properties we will call it as blockchain and the bitcoin's application so that's about this video where we talked about difference between bitcoin blockchain and dlt if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for the videos bye bye